guys, good day. It's me again, John Patrick Domingo Gajaza, and I'm currently taking Bachelor of Science in Social Work at the University of La Salette. So guys, for today's video, we have our house tour in our home. So actually guys, we have our two houses. As you can see at my back, that is our first house. It is an unfinished house because due to the pandemic, we can't finish this one. So. A lot of house materials is very expensive right from now, so we can finish this house right from now. So guys, as you all know that this house is not unfinished, so it is not our permanent house right from now because there have no electricity or even things that we can use on that house. So guys, without further ado, let's go inside of this house first. So guys, let's go inside of our house. So as you can see, we're in the middle of bamboo shoots. Yes. And this is the entrance of this house, guys, as you can see. So the first thing that you will see at the entrance of this house is the living area. So guys, this is the living area. So guys, in this house, we totally plan that it has uh, three rooms. Um, the first room is for myself. The second room is for my sister, my mother, and my father. So the last room is for the visitors. So right from now guys, we're going the first room which is my room so this is the first room guys it's very dark right from now so here is the entrance of my room but i suggested to my mother that my entrance is still square type to put a chandelier or any kind of light in the center so guys let's go to my room So my room is an L type as you can see. So in my room, I have one window because I don't want my room to be dark soon. So guys, here in this place, I will put cabinets, lumps, organizers, computer table, and of course my bed. So right from now guys, we're going to the second room which is the visitor's room. So. This is the visitor's room guys. It is just like a qua it's just like th that space. So that is a space of uh, uh, visitor's room. So this is the second room guys. So yeah, this is the second room. And now guys, we're going to the room of my mother, father and my sister. So their room is square type and it's more spacious than my room guys. And guys in their room as you can see there is a two windows. So guys we're going to our terrain where here can gather events. But our terrain is very small as you can see. So now guys, I can show you our living area, which is this one, this area. So here, our plan is to put a TV, some pictures of memories, or any kind of appliances like aircon or cooler. And here, we also put a big window because based on the Feng Shui Expert, if you have a big window in the living area, it's easy to attract money. So now as you can see, there is a split or gap, so we'll put a divider cabinet here going to the comfort room and the kitchen. So now, this is the door of our comfort room and it will even have an extension outside. So guys, as you can see, there is so much dirt here because it was just filled up and our house did not continue. But here guys, this is our kitchen. So here we can put a dining table and a refrigerator of course or any kind of water dispenser. 
So my mama's plan here in the kitchen, she wants to put a long cabinet on the top to make it more organized. And my mama wants to put an oven burner here because mama is very fond of cooking, especially when baking cupcakes. So here, he will put an oven burner. So now guys, as you can see, this is our washing area soon. Yes. So guys, you know what is my most favorite part here in this house? Is actually the stock room. So guys, we have a small stock room here that we can store food or any kind of stuff. So guys, the area of this house is located at Puro Cuatro Cabulay, Santiago City. So actually guys, we live here in Cabulay for almost 18 years. As my age, I am 18 right now. Well, but the real thing is that the, during the long years of living here, we also moved from house to another house. Like when I was five Five years old, we were in Purok Dos with our family, but now we are in Purok Cuatro of Kabulay. And actually, we uh, we also experienced living in Purok Tres, um, which we boarded in the year 2013 like that. So right from now, guys, we're going to the second home. Yes, for our second home. So, actually, I am walking for like about 5 meters along to our house to reach our second house. So, right from now, guys, I'm walking, going to our second home. By the way, guys, as you can see, where I'm walking is our farm that we can plant vegetables or any kind of plants. So guys, we are close to our second home. And now guys, we are here in our house. This is the entrance going to our house. Yeah, that's my sister. This is our second home. So the materials here is very cheap. The Mahirap edition. Yes. So when you enter this house, it's my parents' room right away. So now we're going to our dirty kitchen. Yes, it's typical very dirty. <laughs> So now guys, let's go to my room. So this is my room. It's kind of small and a bit of messy. <laughs> and here guys, as you can see, here I do activities or assignment. So these are the things I use that are very messy. So as you can see, the Santo Nino statue in our house, we cannot lose this statue. And if you want to know, I'm a member of youth ministry in St. James Parish, the Apostle. And now guys, as you can see, the view in my room is such a very relaxing. And actually, it really relieves fatigue and anxiety because of the very fresh air. By the way guys, this is our rice plantation. Yeah, we're not rich in terms of money, but I think in terms of lands. So now guys, I will take you to the bottom of our house going to the river. So if you see guys, we have a lot of vegetable plants like eggplants, um, the lofa, squash, and others because my mom is very fond of planting. So right from now guys, we are close to the river. Guys, this is the river. We were just too close to it, so during Typhoon Ulysses, we were flooded here. Yes, that is the river, guys. So guys, I will show you a video when we were flooded here. So this is uh, the river flows. 
So guys, that is a Typhoon Ulysses affected us. But now guys, by the mercy of God, we were able to get up properly and so we are thankful to our God Almighty. So guys, that is for today's video. Thank you for watching guys. God bless you all and stay safe always.